Mommy, welcome to Scope Arts Fitness and Spa. Thank you. What kind of massage would you like us to give you today? Um, I'll go for a deep tissue massage. Deep tissue? Madam, that would be rough. I just want something that will make me feel good. Okay, a soft massage. Soft and intimate. Okay, uh, I'll start right away. Okay. Uh. There you go. Right. Uh. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Yes. Oh. Madam. Yeah? Please, um, the sound you're making is distracting me. I don't understand. How is my sound distracting you? I'm only making that sound because I'm enjoying what you're doing. Alright, ma'am. I'll go back to it. Thank you. Mm. Oh, damn. Yes, baby. Uh, madam. <sighs> Please, can you stop? You know, you're the first Masseus that is telling me my sound is distracting him. Or oh, don't you like what? Wait, are you... Are you... Are you gay? Madam, no. I'm, I'm straight. I'm just telling you your sounds are distracting me. Please, can you stop so I can do my job? Look, I'm your client. So, I suggest you just go back to whatever you were doing, okay? Uh, uh. But I'm, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I can see you're married. You're a married woman. I can tell from your ring. And so? Are you the one that is going to tell my husband? No, ma'am. I'm sorry, I'll just get back to it. Um, I suggest you should start all over again. All over again? Yes, start from my shoulders. I'm waiting. Okay, ma'am. Mm. Mm. Yes, choke me. Yes. Uh, madam, oh. enough. What enough. What is wrong with you? Uh, madam, I, I'm done for the day. You can come back another time. Are you serious? Uh, yes. What? Do you actually know I can give you a bad review for this? Yes, and there is another side of the story, which is my own side of the story. Oh, really? Just be sure that I'm going to tell your boss. This is not the way you treat clients. I'm sorry, ma'am. You're supposed to make your clients happy. My happiness should be your priority. But anyways, that's fine. I'll be leaving. Rubbish. So, that was what happened today. Bobby, are you dumb? Wait, how do you think I make a lot of money in this place? This spa is the best spa in the city. And they pay well. I'm sure it's the money you're using to live. The kind of life you're living now. Oh, come off it. I can't live this large with just this salary alone. Let me tell you, I make my male clients happy. I do whatever they want me to do. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you make them happy in what sense? Bobby, come on, stop acting like a child. Just go with the flow. Make your clients happy. I mean, there's no camera in this place and no one will badge in on you. All they just need from you is just you to satisfy them. And then your pocket will be filled. But uh, it doesn't feel right. Yes, it doesn't feel right. But when the money enters your pocket, I'm sure it feels good, right? Oh, really? Yes. 
Uh, I will think about it. You better do, unless you want to remain like this. <sighs> I left the front desk open. That oh, reminds me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get to go. Hi, Bobby. Are you free? A lady here needs a massage and she specifically requests you do the services. Yes. Okay. Ma, he'll be with you shortly. Thank you. Please have your seat. Ah, don't worry, I'm fine. Okay. You said there's a customer who needs my service. That would be me. Oh, I'm sorry, ma. Um, I'm not free. I have a customer who I'm attending to. Well, I just heard you saying you're very free. I'm sorry, ma. You can call me. Thank you. All right. Mm. Do this with me, please. Mom. I've told you several times. I can't do this with you. But why? Am I not attractive? You're attractive. You're beautiful. But I can't. Look, I will see. You know what? Just once, please. Now, please. The only reason why they employed me here is because they checked my history. I don't do this with clients. Madam, please. I, I beg you. If you want to do this, you can go somewhere else. Look, I will take good care of you, okay? Just make me happy. Madam, please, please. The only reason why I'm here is because I respect you and I want to do my job. I thought they were reputable here. Why do I have to go through this all the time with you? Look. <laughs> Well, well, well. Why are you all laughing? She's actually the owner of this place. She is our boss. So, what, what is going on here? I don't understand. The thing is, I actually do this kind of test with my staffs. That is why this bar is a very reputable one. And um, congratulations, you passed the test. Thank you so much, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> but why didn't you tell me? Bobby, I can't. Thank God you passed. Anyways, welcome to the family. Thank you so much. All right, see you downstairs. Good day, sir. Um, good day, and who are you? I am here for the final section of the interview, sir. Oh, uh, Mr. Alfred. Yes, sir. Oh, good, good, good. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. Uh, um, so, uh, Mr. Alfred. Yes, sir. I would um, want you to fill this form. Yes, um, take. You have to fill this. Your name. Or the sign here and here. Okay, sir. Yeah, thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, um, great, great. Uh, so I'll need you to wait in the reception. Okay, sir. Someone will attend to you shortly. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah, thank you. Welcome.
Good day, sir. Um, sit down. Thank you. So, how may I help you? Yes, sir. I'm here for the final phase of the interview. Oh, you're Miss Chloe, right? Yes, sir. Oh, good, good, good. Um, I would want you to fill this. And please sign here and here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Good, okay. Um, so please wait at the reception. Someone will attend to you soon. Okay, sir. Oh, thank, thank you. here would be selected for the role after the interview and for us not to be left out we can bribe our way through really yes are you sure about this <laughs> of course <laughs> take a look yeah. wow really yes. 200 dollars two is not big for the price okay <laughs> so who is ready for this I know, right? I'm sorry, but I don't think this is right. We shouldn't do it. I mean, let Faith decide who is going to get this position. We should be the ones deciding what Faith will be and not the other way around. Exactly. In this case, $200 is Faith. Exactly. My advice to you is to follow the moving train. Do what's right. Well, this is not right. But we are all doing it. Yes! Because everyone does it, that does not mean it is right. What's your name again? I'm Anne. Good one, Anne. You look like a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe, so tell me, where did you do your first interview? Okay, interview? I will. You shut up! Look at this fool. Who invited you to the conversation? I hate the fact that she's here. I hate everything about her. Her look, the way she talks, the way she thinks. She disgusts me. Oh. Will you keep quiet? What is wrong with you? Why are you putting your trust into the conversation? Look at how dirty she is. Do you even think you'll be selected if you do not bribe our way through? Respect her. You don't have the look. Exactly. Are we making sense? Of course yes. you are. You all shouldn't talk to me like that. I'm also qualified like everyone of you here. Will you shut up? Okay, why do you think you're qualified? You low life drug. Um, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the final phase of the interview. I would want each and every one of you to come to my office one after the other. And then secondly, I was hearing noises around. Hope everything is fine. It's fine, sir. Um, sorry, excuse me, are you okay? Yes, sir. Everything is fine, sir. It's just... <laughs> Uh, interview is chit chat. Okay, um, Mr. Alfred, please come first. Okay, sir. Mr. Fred, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Good day. Um, Mr. Fred. Not to waste your time. Uh, I'm sure Karim told you everything I told her about. Yes, sir. And then I want to make sure you accept every proposal. Yes, sir. Oh, that's, but, good, that's sir, good. Sir, open no implications. Mr. Fred, trust me. See, I will tell you that I have every influence and every ways to get in anyone get this job. Believe me. I'm in charge of this interview and everything that goes in and out comes in for me. So, um, be rest assured, be relaxed, you will definitely get the job. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. How am I to pay in? Uh, Mr. Alfred, you will definitely pay in after you've gotten the job. Oh. Yes. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Congratulations. sir. Congratulations. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Yeah, please, sir. Uh, please call the next person after you. Okay, no problem, sir. You're welcome.
Let me see that one. Um, Miss Anne, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, Karen told me you refused my proposal. And uh, do you know there are a lot of people out there who are willing to take this opportunity because of the great benefits attached to it? And uh, $200 shouldn't be a problem for you. It's just an easy way for you to cut corners and get what you want. Sir, I cannot do this. It is wrong. It's also against my moral conduct. Listen, listen. Everyone has set to do this. So why are you trying to be different? It is very simple. Just do what everyone is doing and get a job. Because everyone does it, does not make it right. And if this is the only option, count me out. You know, I'm sorry to tell you this. I'm very sure you're not getting this job. So uh, please leave my office and call the next person after you. But you can change your mind if you want to. So, um, Chloe, Karen told me she has given you every details. Yes, she did. So, how should I pay cash and transfer? Oh, um, don't rush things. You will definitely pay after you're employed. Um, so, I just want to uh, make sure you actually chose to do this after knowing the requirements of the job that you shouldn't bribe or find your... Yes, sir. I did. You sure about it? Yes, sir. So, your farm is cutting corners? Yes, sir. And I'll do more. Good, good. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Congratulations. You, sir. Uh, please call the next person. Okay. So the final interview has been conducted and the CEO will choose who will be employed. So sir, when are we meeting the CEO? The CEO is sitting amongst you. Meet the CEO. <laughs> yes, I am the CEO. Um, we needed someone who is honest, kind, and patient. We needed someone who wouldn't cut through corners. Osma, you were not have made us do what we did. <laughs> there is an African proverb that says, if you are told to put your hand into fire, would you put your hand in it? And moreover, that was the only way we could get someone credible for this position. But you made us follow you, thinking it was right. Yes. Yes, yes, I accept. But Anne, Anne here, she taught me something. I would, I would rephrase you. You said, because everyone is doing it, does not make it right. Wow, I love that. <laughs> Anne, I am so sorry for how I must have treated you. The name calling, the attitude, I am sorry. I just want you to know that that was just all an act. Okay? Hope you forgive me. Yes, you are. So, congratulations, Anne. <laughs> you have been given the job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and to both of you, Chloe and Mr. Alfred, right? I want you to take this word. It might help you later on in the future. Always stand for what is right, even if it means you standing alone. Okay? Alright, so, Miss Anne, let's proceed to my office. Have a good day. Thank you for coming. Thank you. You 
you all at this trying times all hands must be on deck um, because the company is going through a lot right now and i need all hands to be on deck um yes yeah, so before i forget um linda any news um from those owing us no sir but after going through all the documents i kindly suggest we should go for the formical deal okay the formical deal is a two over two option I understand that you might not want to let the company go, but I put it to you that the firm cow deal, which is a two over two option, is at our advantage. That's a good one, Linda. That's a good one. I must applaud you for that. Yes, um, I totally agree that we go with the firm cow deal uh, because I think um, it's a win-win situation for us. Um, before I continue, there's something I'd like you all to know. Yeah, so this company will be bought by a new family. Uh, they actually have the highest shares right now. Yes, yeah, so they'll be taking charge as soon as possible. I think um, before the week runs out, they'll be sending someone to the office. I think it's the James family. Um, I, I got a mail from them. So before anyone comes, let's all sit up, do what we have to do, you know, and be very, very effective and efficient with our duties. Um, does anyone have anything to add? No, sir. No, sir. Okay, in the absence of nothing, um, this meeting is dismissed. Um, you may all go back to work, please. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you so much, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Good morning. Good morning. How can we help you? I'm here to see the managing director. The managing director? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. I will inform him that you are here. You can have a seat. Please, it's very important. I see him now. Madam, I said I will inform him that you are here. Go and sit down. I'm sorry. Ah, you better be. All these people safe. Good morning. Good morning, Ma. Yeah, because I'm here to see the managing director. Oh, so what is the name? Billy is the name. Miss Billy. Mrs. Billy. Oh, I'm sorry, Ma. It's fine. I will inform him that uh, a very important person is here. Okay. And uh, I'm sure he would like to see you. So please, have a seat. Okay, thank you very much. Yes, Ma. Be careful, Ma. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <laughs> yes, hello, Nora. Hello, sir. One Mrs. Billy is here to see Sorry, me. please. Please, I came in first. So I feel it's right for me to go in first. Madam, will you keep quiet and be patient? You can see I have a lot of work to do. I'm sorry. You better be. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Yes. Why do you think she's important? When you see her, you will know. Okay, um, if you say so, send the second person in. Okay. <laughs> Please, ma. You can go in, ma. Oh. Yes. Thank you very much. He's ready to see you. Yeah. This way, right? Yes, ma. Okay, Please watch you. yourself. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Be careful, ma. <laughs> but, madam, I feel like what you just did was unfair. Oh, so you want to teach me how to do my job now? No, you can come and take, come on, come. You can come and take the position. See, let me tell you something that you don't know. Hmm? I decide who gets in and who doesn't. So kindly keep your mouth shut and let me do my job. Okay? I'm sorry. Better be. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Nora. Come to my office immediately. Okay, sir.
Ikuji, sir. And what is good about the Nora? I thought you said the second lady was more important. Yes, sir. She seems very important. She looks it. Laura. Sir? That woman came here asking for your job. She should have just told you or probably just told someone else, not coming into my office. Sir, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry, sir. Send in the lady who came here first. Okay? Yes, sir. Um, Laura, before you go, don't forget um, we have CCTV cameras all over the office, so I see everything. Yes, sir. All right. You need to take your leave now. Um, madam, you may go inside now. Oh. My boss wants to see you. Oh, thank you. Mm, whatever. Come in, madam. It's coming. Please have your seat. Thank you. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, madam. My name is Mrs. James. Oh, Mrs. James. Okay, um, how may I help you, please? Oh, I guess my people didn't inform you that I'll be buying the company over. Um, please, just, just, just a second, madam. Mrs. Stella James. Yes, that's um, me. Good afternoon, you're welcome, ma'am. No, it's fine. Okay, um, ma'am, would you like anything to drink? I'm fine, thank you. Okay, um, please just, just a minute, madam. Just a minute. Yes, um, hello, Nora. Yeah, I need you in my office immediately. Then I want you to go around and get all the staff here. It's important and it's very, very urgent. Yes, please, yes, please. Now, now. Thank you, thank you. Just hold on, madam. Oh, beautiful. Hey, come in, come in, everyone, come in. Come in, please. Come in. Come in. Just come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Okay, um. Yes, yeah, so you're welcome, guys. Um, I'd like you all to meet um, Mrs. Stella James. Um, she'll be buying the company and she owns the highest shares in this company. So, madam, um, we're all here for you. So, madam, I don't know um, if there's anything you'd like to effect in the office. Um, the floor is yours because we're here for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you for your hard work, being supportive in this company. Thank you very much. Keep it up. Uh, I don't have anything to add up now. I just want to let you know that the secretary has been rude to me earlier and she will not be working with us again. I just want you to know that this company is built on transparency, love, honesty and not bias. So you don't have those qualities. Mom, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. I'm not like this. But you can't work with us anymore. I've forgiven you already. But I don't think you can work with us again. Um, look, Nora, Nora, listen, Nora. Sir. I would like you to get up, go to your office, um, and clear your desk. Because effective immediately, you no longer work with us. I'm sorry. Sir. Sir. Nora, please leave. Sir. Sir. You know what, sir. Leave, so don't call the security. Sir. Leave, Nora. <sighs> um, so sorry, guys. Um, it's quite unfortunate Nora had to go. Um, so, madam, um, like I said earlier, um, you have our support. We are all here for you. Thank you very much. I appreciate you all for your hard work. Keep it up. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Um, that will be all for now. You may go back to work. All right, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Natasha. You asked for me? Yes. Today's the D-Day, right? Yes, sir. Are all the interviews present? Yes, sir. The last time I checked. Okay, so why I called you here is that I'll need you to prep them and go ahead with the interview process. 
I won't be available because I'm busy sending some documents. Oh, okay, sir. That's fine. Um, one more thing. Um, we also got information that the CEO will be visiting our branch today. So please um, be on the lookout for him and make sure to treat him nice once he comes. Okay, sir. But, sir, I don't know what the CEO looks like. Uh, well, we also don't know what he looks like, but um, we're told he loves to keep a low profile, so you can look out for that also. All right, sir. Now, that'll be all. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Yes, uh, you both are here for the interview, right? Yes, ma. All right, what's your name? Fiona. And you? Gary. All right, you both are welcome to this organization. So I'll be giving you this to go through the interview brief. Have this. And um, after that, I'll need you people to come into my office one after the other. Okay. for the proper interview. All right, ma'am. That'll be all for now. I'll see you later. Who are you and what do you want? Wait. Don't tell me you're here for the interview because what is a disabled man like you doing here? Ma. I'm not disabled. I'm just someone with special needs. <laughs> I can't believe you people have given it a very glorified name already. Special needs. Well, I really don't know what you're looking for, but this is not a charity home and we don't entertain disabled people like you. Madam, I'm also here for the interview. You're here for this interview? Yes. Oh, I see. All right. Excuse me, madam. I can see there are papers with them. Um, please raise mine. You want yours? You can have it. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Fiona, right? Yes. I see you're acting all nice. You think doing all this will get you the job? Or you think that will make you look like the best for this interview? You're helping a disabled man. Why not just focus on what you're here for? Or don't you have your wrist to run? Sorry, ma'am. Sorry for yourself. Congratulations, Mr. Gary. Thank you very much, ma'am. I believe you're going to get the job. Thank you. I'm going to trust you on this. Um, on your way out, can you tell the other lady to please come in? Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Miss Fiona, right? Yes, ma'am. Mm. You're the one who was trying to help the disabled man. I believe they are not called disabled. They are called people with special needs. <laughs> people with special needs. I see. You already sent your CV to the company's mail, so I'll just go through it. Um, all right, ma'am. I see. So this is the reason why you were acting all nice. You have all the qualifications we need and you went to the best school. Hmm. But it's unfortunate. Let me just announce it to you that you won't be getting this job. But why, ma? 
because for you to get a job in this organization, you have to make me happy. I have to be happy with you. I don't think your personal feelings should determine the criteria for getting a job in this organization. <laughs> well, you see, in this case, my feeling is what determines if you're going to get a job in this company or not. Yeah. And the nonsense you displayed earlier with the disabled man is not something that I like. Ma, actually, at this point, I don't care if I get the job or not. What really matters to me is my conscience. I won't sit back and watch somebody be disrespected just because of their physical situation. I mean, we all have our physical situations. <laughs> oh, so now you accept the fact that he has a physical situation. Anyways, Miss Fiona, like I said, you won't be getting this job. But just for formality's sake, we will get back to you. <laughs> when I obviously know we will not. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. I appreciate the opportunity. Ah, you're welcome. And please send in the disabled man. Oh, sorry. The half man. You're welcome. I would have asked you to sit, but you're already sitting on a wheelchair. What is your name? I'm Dave. Dave. So can I have your CV? Uh, it's not here in papers. Can I send it to your mail? Sure. The mail is natasha334 at gmail.com natasha334 at gmail.com I've sent it. Good. Wow. Your CV looks pretty impressive. You've worked at Jamison and James. Yes. Huh. That's nice. But I'm sure you do know you can't work in this company because you're disabled. But that's fine. Let me keep going through your CV. You've worked at Mark and Luke and you worked for six years. Yes. Wait, wait. I think there's an error in this CV. And what's the error? It says here you're the CEO of Dave Tires Limited. Well, if it says so in my CV, then it is. That can't be. Because this company is Dave Tires Limited. Well, I am. You're obviously lying. Exactly. I could be lying. Well, you know what? You can call your superior to confirm. Hello, sir. Sir, there's a man on the wheelchair here and he's claiming to be the CEO. <laughs> oh 
my god sir please can you, can you just come over to my office Sir, please just, just come. Sir. Sir, please. Sir, please, I am very sorry. I never knew you were the CEO and I didn't know you were going to be coming here on, on a wheelchair. Good morning, sir. I thought you were going to come to my office immediately. I didn't know you were going to come here directly. Well, I was coming straight to your office when I met the HR at the reception. She treated me like nobody. I decided to come because of the interview that was going to be held today. So I decided to use the opportunity. And also to discover why the branch hasn't been making more sales. But I can tell you for the fact that I think I found the reason. Because the HR who is supposed to employ capable hands. It's only employing people who impress that personally. Sir, please. I am, I am so sorry. I'm not always like this. It only happened today. Please, sir. It's okay. I'm not going to do anything to you. Except I will let you go. And I will make sure I blacklist you. So that you won't get employed anyway. Sir, no, please. I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. You know what? The lady that was nice to me at the reception, what's her name? Fiona. Do you have a CV? Yes, sir. And you have a contact? Yes, sir. Please, please a call through. Okay, sir. Yes, please. The lady that just left my office, can you stop her? Tell her to come back, please. Yes, yes, immediately. Miss Fiona, I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself properly. My name is Dave, and I'm the CEO of this company. What? Is this true? Oh, yes, it is true. Yes. Miss Fiona, as from today, I will make you the HR of this company. Oh, my God. I don't know what to say. Thank you, sir. Yes. It's someone like you. I need in this branch. Natasha, I want you to clear your decks and leave. You are lucky we are only firing you. If not, I would have handed you over to the authorities. Because you wanted to give my company a bad name. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. John? Yes, sir. Please, let's go to your office. I think I'm done here. Of course, you've done a lot. Miss Fiona? You can join us at the office while Miss Natasha clear decks. Okay, sir. You had a good trip. Uh, yes. Sweetheart, why are you wearing shades and why are you holding a walking stick? You're in, inside the house. Come on. Oh, honey, I'm sorry I didn't tell you about the phone. My eye got blasted at the war zone. <laughs> and the doctor said I'll be blind forever. What? And there's nothing that can be done. Oh my god. Are you serious? I'm, I'm so sorry about this. Oh, my God. Honey, I am sorry I, I brought this upon us. You don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be sorry. Honey, please help me thank Ella here. She has been the one taking good care of me ever since I lost my sight. She has been providing everything I, I wanted. 
Oh, Ella, thank you so much for taking good care of my husband. I really appreciate it. No need to mention, ma'am. If I don't take care of him, who will? It's my pleasure. Thank you so much, Ella. Yes, thank you, Ella. Please, ma'am, make sure you continue to take care of him. Of course, I'll do that. I would like to take my leave now. Thank you so much. Sir, permission to fall out, sir. I think we should go inside so you can tell me how everything happened. Okay, okay. Yes. Let me help you. Yes. Hello, Andy. Hello, darling. I hope you slept well. You know, Benita, I woke up thinking about you, about your body, about your sexy touch. I miss you too. So, when do you think we can see? You know, I am ready to see you whenever you are ready. You know, I'm always ready for you. And you can actually come over to my house. I thought you said your husband is coming this week. Yes. In fact, he's around. What? I mean, do you want to put me in trouble? Come on. Andy, relax. <laughs> Did you just ask me to relax? Yes. Because you know what? My husband is a blind man now. What? You mean your husband is blind now? His eyes got blasted at war. So we can actually have the whole house to ourselves without him seeing anything. Do you really want me to come? Of course. You know he can't see anything, so all you have to do is sneak into the house and we'll just enjoy ourselves. Okay, I'll come around tomorrow. Alright, baby. So I'll see you tomorrow, okay? I need to hang up now. Bye. Bye. Honey! Honey! I think there's someone at the door. Hi. Hi. Sit down. Honey. Yes, we have. Who is that? His name is Andy. He's my junior colleague at work. Mr. Andy, you are welcome to our humble home. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Mr. Collins, your wife told me what happened to you. I'm very sorry to hear about it. No, no problem. Thank you so much, Mr. Andy. All right, Mr. Collins. That's what brought me. I think I should take my leave now. Uh, Mr. Andy, so soon? Yes, Mr. Collins. I have a lot of things I need to do at work. So I need to run around now. Okay, okay, yeah. Mr. Andy. Hope to see you soon. Sure, sure. Thank you, Mr. Collins. Sweetheart, let me see him off. Let's go to the room. Sweetheart, let me finish up what I was in in the room. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, okay, honey. Let's go, I think he's here. That's it. Sweetheart. Honey. Guess who is here? Babe, you know I'm not good at guessing. Okay, your best friend is here. Oh my God, do you mean Frederick? Yes, it's me. Frederick, give me a handshake. Oh, Frederick, it's been a long time. Yes, you know, um, after your wife told me you were back, I decided to check up on you. Collins, I'm really sorry for what happened to you. Oh, Frederick. Thank you so much. Do you know what? No matter what happens, I'm always I promise you, I and your wife will always be by you. Thank you so much, Frederick. You know, I actually brought you a present. Are you serious? Wow. Thank you so much, Frederick. Collins, I really need to leave now. Oh, 
Frederick, you just go here. Collins, you know, on my way down here, I got a call from the office. And it's very urgent, but I decided to see you first before I return to the office. I, I understand you. I understand you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, honey, please see Frederick to the door. Oh, all right. I will. You know what, sweetheart? During those times you were gone, I miss the parties we used to have together with your friends. Yeah, I miss that too. You know, we could still have a party and you invite few of our friends over. Really? Yes. Are you sure you're going to be okay with that? Yes, sure. You know, I also miss partying with everyone. Ah, I'm really happy about this then. You know, this is just going to be a dinner party. Everyone will come over for dinner. You can invite my best friend, Frederick, and your sister, Angel, and also invite Andy, your junior colleague. You know, I really like that guy. But are you sure there is any need for me to invite Andy? Sure. Like I said, I like the guy. Oh, is there any problem? <laughs> no, not at all, darling. It's a nice idea, and I'll do just that. Okay, okay then. Sweetheart. Yeah? I feel sleepy already. Okay. We'll talk about the rest tomorrow morning. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. I want to say a very big thank you to everyone who showed up for this party. Honey. Yes, sir. Won't you do some introduction? I don't think everyone here knows Andy. That's true. Um, Andy, meet Frederick. This is my husband's best friend. Nice to meet you. Pleasure is mine. Frederick, this is Andy, my junior colleague at work. And um, you know Angel already. So Andy, meet Angel. This is my younger sister. And as you all know, this is my lovely husband. <laughs> Thank you, love. And thank you to everyone who has been there for me ever since I lost my sight, especially Frederick, my best friend. It's been a roller coaster of emotion ever since I lost my sight. And thanks to my beautiful wife for being the best wife. And Frederick, I hope you get the same treatment you've given me as a best friend. And thanks for being so amazing to my wife. And also, Thanks for being the best friend that is sleeping with my wife. What? And to you, Andy. Thanks for what you've been doing with my wife. As you can see, I'm not blind. Yeah. I actually pretended to be blind and come home when someone hinted me and showed me pictures of my wife cheating on me. You see, all the while they've been coming in, I saw everything. I decided to be quiet until this day. And to you, Angel, I just asked your sister to invite you over so you can be a witness. And to you, Benita, <laughs> I want you to go in there, pack your things, and leave my house. Yes, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. The both of you, I want you to leave my house before you regret your actions. What are you still doing here? Leave my house! I am sure you heard the information today in the meeting about the new general manager position that is vacant. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'll be applying for for that position because, of course, I am the best and the most qualified candidate in this building. I will also apply. You what? never can tell. And that reminds me too. Um, I heard the uh, new CEO will be coming around to the office any moment from now. <laughs> Watch it! What is wrong with you? Are you blinded? Can't you see? Ah! 
can, can, can you hear the question you're asking? Are you, you are not only blind, you are dumb too. Time. Stop you. You don't talk to people that way. Sorry, ma. I'll, I'll help you. No, don't worry, don't worry, ma. I'll help you. Look, yeah, what is, I have, how many times have I told you to stop helping people who cannot help you? Eh? I have told you to stop helping people who cannot help you. Eh? So, bro. Have you applied for the general manager position? Yes, I did. Uh, but do you know who the new CEO is? Well, I don't know, but definitely he knows who I am already. He knows who I am. Sorry, I did not introduce myself properly the last time. No, I can't shake you. Besides, I don't need your introduction. I know who you are already. Really? Yes. You are the new cleaner here and. So please get yourself cleaned up. Okay? I am Luke. Please feel free to speak to me when you need anything. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So um gentlemen, the CEO will be here in any minute time. And um, I would I feel like it was working. Oh, sorry. Thank you. Yeah, um, thank you so much. You are really helpful to this company. I had the pleasure in my time. Oh, the CEO is around. I'll be right back. Look, this is the kind of help you give. You see, you need to help people who can always help you back in return. Well, no, don't worry. I'll always remember you. You are a very good friend. You are very good. You are not just a friend, you are a very good colleague. Uh, yeah. Meet the new CEO. I'm sure you both are surprised to see me. I'm Anne, your new CEO. I'm so sorry, Ma, how I treated you. I thought you were the cleaner. Yes. I actually pretended to be the cleaner because I wanted to see how people would treat me. People tend to be nice when you're the CEO. And I don't want a senior manager who would be nice to me because I'm the CEO. Any employee who would go out of his way to help someone who can't help him in return, wow. That's the kind of employee my company needs. And I want someone who is real. And look, my friend here just got himself the post of a senior manager. Thank you, Ma. This really changed my life. Once again, congratulations, Mr. Luke. Please meet me in my office. And for you, Mr. Liu, you're fired. What are you working on? I notice you've been very busy. I just finished the logistics file for the week, so I'm trying to send it to HR. Okay, that's good. Did you hear that there's another promotion coming in soon? And I'm prepared for it. Yeah. How? You remember I went for a professional course, mm -hmm. adding to my MSc. I would definitely qualify for the position. That's funny. Mm. <laughs> Honestly, Queen, you should go for comedy as a profession. Because you're very funny. But why? Because you talk like a joker now. 
So you think it's by qualification, knowledge, and whatever you said you went for that you get that promotion. You don't know how things work in this office, yeah? I don't understand. When you need a promotion, increase your qualification, prove yourself, and work on yourself. Hmm. Queen, do you think at all? See, if it was by qualification, knowledge, and hard work, I only fit into the position of the secretary in this office. None of those things matter here. It matters, because that's what you need to get a promotion. Queen, hmm? you're so gullible. You're just the food. Let me ask you. We both got employed into this office the same day, right? But I am two positions, two positions ahead of you. Let me tell you something and give you a piece of advice. You play the game and gain the fame. That's how things work here. But I still don't understand. Okay. <laughs> Keep asking me. You're going to understand very soon. Okay, okay. Good afternoon, sir. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hello, ladies. Good afternoon. How about today? Fine, sir. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Hello, queen. Okay. So Lizzie, how are you doing now? I'm fine, sir. Uh, ah. Never been better till I saw you. Oh, now I'm good. Oh, you're looking very beautiful this morning. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Um, so you know what? Um after like later you come and see me, right? Okay, sir, definitely. Good, good. Um, let's not forget, we should be having a meeting in ten minutes time. So you both can see me in my office, right? Okay, yes. sir. Lizzie, you're raising this office is booming. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you, See sir. me later, huh? Okay, sir. Bye, ladies. Bye, Come bye sir. Lizzie, that's wrong. You were flirting with Mr. Aaron, and besides, he's married. <laughs> Queen. That is what I was trying to make you understand. In this company, you play the game to gain the fame. You're telling yourself there. No matter what, it's wrong. <laughs> Ladies, how are you doing? Fine, sir. Uh, I'm sorry to call you into this short meeting. So, um, just to let you be informed, I have here the promotion mail. But, however, one person will get promoted. And I must commend you, Queen. You are really hardworking. And I see that you've accumulated a lot of qualifications. And I must say that is really good. Thank you, sir. But, I have to break this sad news to you. You won't be getting promoted. Yes. Yes, yes. Because you don't make me happy. And making me happy is a key performance index for you to get your promotion. However, Lizzie here, Lizzie, Lizzie. Efficient Lizzie. Ah, Lizzie. You see, Lizzie here makes me happy. Lizzie knows what to do. Lizzie does the key things that can get that promotion. And that is what you are lacking. So Lizzie will get promoted and with these few words, I know you understand what I'm trying to say. Next time, work harder, make me happy and you will get it. So before I forget, we'll be expecting a big client. His name is Mr. James. He will bring in a big deal, a huge one for that matter, around a million dollars. And I want you to treat him right. Lizzie, I'm talking to you. Treat him right, make him happy. Huh? Definitely, sir, I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when he's here, please bring him to my office so we can discuss for that. Lizzie, Lizzie. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, see you, huh? Ah, Lizzie. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Um, I am James. And I'm here to see Mr. To so Mr. Aaron, right? Yes. Oh, he has been waiting for you. I'll take it to him. Just follow me. He's coming. 
Sir, this is Mr. James, the man that you said was going to come see you. <laughs> Please sit down, have your seat. Oh, oh, Mr. James, Mr. James, welcome. Mr. Iron. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, Good welcome. afternoon. Good afternoon. How you doing? Good. Thank you so much for this huge opportunity. Oh. Um, your business that you're bringing to my company is going to boost our portfolio. I really appreciate you. Like, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, you know, I've always wanted to do business with your company. Mm, mm. That's, that's it, you know. And for now, here we are. Running yeah. things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must say, I must say. Yeah. Um, sorry if I may ask. You know, sure. coming in, I noticed you have a lot of staffs here mm -hmm. from the gate down to your office. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, like, they are qualified staff, right? Yes, yes. I have this very, one very big issue in my own company. You know, promoting staffs is <laughs> always difficult for me. Oh. And Every one of them are qualified. Mm. So um, I don't know if you can actually be of help and you know. Yes, yes. You know, you know what, um, Mr. James, I must really say it's really difficult sometimes to promote um, everyone because almost everybody's good at their job. Yeah. And they are always qualified. But since we are friends, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll share you a little secret. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you see, yeah. my little secret is promote who makes you happy. Mr. Iron, that's the issue. Every one of them make me happy. <laughs> they do their job well, they are hard work. Uh, oh my god. That's it. How, how do I say this now? See, Mr. James, okay. you promote who satisfies you. So let me put it like this a man is supposed to get a promotion and he has a deal coming through. Deal worth, let's say, 100,000. He's meant to cut. 10,000 and give to you. That's how you get a uh, promotion for him. And looking at your hand, I can see that uh, ah, you're not married. Yeah, I'm clearly saying I'm not married. Good, good. The females in your office, you only promote who satisfies you. The ladies who can go after the job, I still come to meet you. I still give you some good, good. You know what I mean? <laughs> Those are the people you promote. See, if you, when you're coming in, right? Yeah. You notice two ladies. Yes, yes, I do. Good, good. The one that sat at the other side, um, that's Queen. The other one that brought you inside is Lizzy Lizzy. You see the Queen there? Queen is qualified. Queen is hardworking. In fact, she's overqualified. But she's not getting promoted. Why? She does not satisfy me. She does not give me those things I want. But you see, Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie. Ah! Lizzie. Lizzie knows how to satisfy me. Lizzie knows how to satisfy me. Lizzie knows everything. That's why Lizzie is getting promoted and promoted and promoted. You see, in this life, you have to play the game to gain the fame. If not, nothing for you. I just hope you, you learn from my style, my friend. <laughs> Use my style. <laughs> so let's go back to business. Eh? So um, when will you be sending the money so I can um, take my share before I transfer to the company's account? Take your own cut. Yes. We are now friends, so I don't need to hide anything from you again. Right? Yeah. Just paying the money to my own account, I move the money to the company's account when I kept my share. <laughs> uh, sorry, if I may ask, have you by yeah. chance met the CEO before? Ah, no, no, no. With my years of working here, I've not met him before. He's, he's, he's a private person. He doesn't like uh, me. You know, the MD actually runs everything. The CEO is just... You know, we have over like 40 something companies everywhere, like in the whole world, um, 20 something in these states, and the rest just spread across the world. So he doesn't really have time for coming How many companies are going to be? So you know now. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I may tell you, mm. the CEO name is James Madison. Yes, I know, I know, I know. You, know it, you guys share the same name. <laughs> Uh, have you met him before? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, that's good. That's good. But uh, 
Actually, uh -huh. I am the CEO. I am James Madison. <laughs> I'm sure you're surprised. You know, I have a team that run this checkup, and you've met them several years. But this time, I decided to do it myself. So this is how you run the company. No, no, sir, no, sir. This is a wrong way to run a company. Yes, sir. And I am so disappointed. I am sorry, sir. You know what? Put a call through those two ladies. Queen and um, Lizzie. Lizzie? Yes, put a culture. Who should I call? Lizzie or Queen? The both of them. Tell them I need them here now. I'm sorry. I should call Lizzie. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Hello? Lizzie, Queen, please. What have you come into my office? Come my, come my, yes, my office, my office. No, no. They are coming, sir. Size, it's not me. I'm sorry, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Um, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. You are queen, if I may ask. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you lead, right? Yes, sir. You know, um, from the conversation between me and Mr. Aaron, mm. I was made to understand that queen, you are the more qualified one, and you are the one who fits in the role. Yes, sir. Good. You'll be taking over Mr. Aaron's position. Oh. oh, sorry I didn't introduce myself. I am James Madison, the CEO of this company. And um, for you, Mr. Aaron, you're fired. Oh. Yes. And I'm um, Lizzie. You know, um, my company don't need someone who plays the game to gain the fame. So. I believe your service is not needed anymore. Please, sir. I'm sorry, sir. Mr. Iron, please leave the office. Please, sir. And you can go with him. Please come and take your position. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, leave me off. Queen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. And please keep up with hard work because hard work pays. Yes, sir. I'll take my leave now. Thank you, sir. Yes, yes, yes. Everything went fine. Unbelievable, I know. <laughs> Well, I hope this pans out because we need the money. Yeah. Let me call you back. Who is the fool that bashed this car? This is not fair. How would you bash my car and leave it like that? My name is Lawrence. And how is that my business? Can't you say I'm not in a good mood? You want to beg for money? I don't have. Please get out of my sight. Relax, madam. Are you deaf? I said get out. Okay. I've actually been waiting for you for over an hour just to let you know. Just to let me know what? Are you the owner of that car? Yes. So you bashed my car? Exactly. That is what I've been trying to tell you. You bashed my car and you stood there and you let me stand here and bark like a mad dog. Actually, I was waiting for you until I got a call. And by the time I got the call, I never knew you were here. Are you mad? Do I look like a fool to you? Okay, you were trying to run. Because she knew you couldn't afford to fix this car. I'm so sorry, madam. I was trying to turn and I mistakenly bashed your car. A grown man like you. Look at yourself and call yourself a fool because that's what you are. You know what? I don't even care. I don't care if you can afford to fix this car or not. But you will fix it. And it's $5,000. Huh? 
Hello? Hello? What happened, Arnie? Ba babe, can you imagine? Im like an idiot, a bastard, good for nothing, bashed my car and he's trying to run. You mean the car I just got for you? Yes. So, speaker. Hello, Mr. Man. Are you crazy? Hello, sir. Did you cover your face with something when you were driving? Or are you blind? You must be crazy. I'm really, really sorry. Don't let that bastard leave your sight. I'm coming there right now. I'll show him the stuff we are made of. Problem, I'm waiting. Where exactly are you? Um, I am, I am along uh, just called Justin Avenue. Okay. I'll be right there now. Thank you. Mr. Man, you're not leaving until my husband gets here. I'm so sorry, madam. Please keep it to yourself. Hello, honey. That was so fast. Is this the man? This is the bastard who bashed my car. Please take it easy. Don't you ever Ever in your miserable life, tell my husband to take it easy again. Do you know who we are? I guess he doesn't. I don't believe anyone in their family has ever achieved any great thing or to even buy this type of car. You can't ever tell they can comprehend something like this. Like I said, I'm so sorry. I'm going to fix it. Oh, definitely. You're going to fix it. Okay. Just give me a minute and let me go to my car and bring my check. Beloved, you don't let this man escape. He has been trying to live here since. You think we're fools, right? You want to escape. You're not going anywhere. Hello, Austin. I just passed someone's car now. I need you to meet me at George's clothes. Thank you. So you even had someone you can call. Hopefully they are not as poor as you are and can even afford to pay for these damages. Please, who are we waiting for and what's the meaning of all this? Can't the person come too quick? Be patient, he'll be here soon. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, good afternoon, Austin. Wow, Mr. Johnson. Mr. Austin. How are you? I'm doing good. What are you doing here? Well, someone unfortunate bashed my wife's car. So I came here to sort things out. Wow. What a coincidence. Uh, sir, this is Mr. Johnson, the one we are giving the $500,000 contract. Wait, what is going on here? Do you mean he's the one to award that contract to me? Yes. You mean he's the one handling the structure of our company abroad? Yes, sir and also restructuring other branch. Yes, sir. Wow. And you're supposed to come tomorrow to sign the contract. Yeah, exactly, sir. Uh, I, I'm sorry, sir. Please, um, can, 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 can we sort this out differently, please? I'm sorry. Uh, what happened? You know what, Austin? We don't need him anymore. Bring other contractors to my office tomorrow. At least the contract is open. Please, do make a transfer of $5,000 to the account concerning the car I bashed. Sir, please, 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 please. Uh, let, let's sort this out amicably. Please, sir, please, please, we are sorry. I think I'm done here. I'm out of here. Sir, please, 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 please sir. Mr. Please, 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 please. Mr. Johnson, what happened? See, it, 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 it's a long story. Please, please, you have to help me beg your boss, please. I can't lose that contract, please. You know what, uh, let me have your account number. I'll send you $5,000 for now and and I'll see what I can do. Please, please, let, let me... Just call your account number for me. 541-25-419-419. Wells Fargo. I've sent you the $5,000. Since you're not ready to tell me what happened, I'll be on my way. Please, Austin, Austin, please help me. Please, 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 please don't go, please. Austin, please. 
Can you see what you've gotten me into now? Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't let them go. Don't let them. What? How? How? When did this happen? Oh. Um, doctor, I don't understand. What do you mean? My God. Oh. Um, my calf is. I need to change. Thank you, Sandra. Be careful, careful. Yeah. Don't worry, Sandra. Yeah, thank you, Sandra. You're welcome. Um, Sandra, where is my wife? She actually went out to handle some businesses on your behalf at the office. I see. So, I go blind, and on the day I'm being discharged from the hospital, my wife isn't there to bring me back home. Hmm. I'm so sorry, sir. But if you need anything, I'll be here to help you. I know you would. Don't worry, Sandra, I'm fine for now. Do you need something to drink? No, 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 I'll be okay. Alright, sir. I'll just be in my room. That will be fine. Thank you. Oh, Sandra. I want to thank you all for coming to this meeting at a very short notice. As you all know, my husband was involved in a ghastly accident and he's going to take some time off to recuperate. That means he will be unavailable to run the day-to-day -day activities of this company. As his wife, I want to inform you all that I will be the new acting CEO. Anybody with any objections? Good. I see no hands up. That'll be all for now. You all can go back to your offices. Accountants, please sit down. I need to speak with you. Um, you're the one in charge of the company account, right? Yes, ma'am. All right. I will be sending an account to you this evening. I want you to transfer the sum of $100,000 to that account. And please, no delays. I want it done this evening. I'll send the account to your mail. But, madam, that's a very large amount of money you're asking me to transfer from the company's account. That can only be done with your husband's approval. <laughs> Miss Accountant, let me ask you, how long have you been working for this company? Six years, ma'am. Six years. Yes, ma'am. And don't you think it's going to be so bad for you to get fired just like that? I mean, have you back on the street, hunting for another job. I'm sure you don't want that. So, if you know what is good for you, transfer the money to the account I'm going to send to your email before the day runs out. And who is that? Rick. I thought you'd be asleep by now. You scared me. I didn't see you there. Abigail. You were meant to pick me up from the hospital this morning. And all you did was to leave me there with the maid. I don't know why you're being a baby about this. 
I would have been there if it wasn't for your office matters. Rick, you've been away for weeks. Who do you think is handling the office work? Please, I don't expect this from you. I am really tired and all I need now is a shower and rest. Abigail! 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 You walked out on me? Look, Abigail, I may be blind, but I'm not stupid. This is the time I need you the most. But all you do is close from work by 3 p.m. and then you set your foot in this house by 9 p.m. You know, with the excuse of you are tired. Abigail, all I would need now is my wife to be around me. So please tell me what is going on. Why don't you go ahead and tell me what is going on? Because I don't understand. All I see here is a nagging blind husband who is not appreciating his wife for doing a lot for this family. Oh, so Abigail, now I am nagging, right? You don't even tell me what happens at the office. You just come back home and you ignore me. And what are you supposed to do if I tell you what is happening in the office? You're blind for crying out loud. Um, don't worry, Abby. Um, I'll get that. Eh, uh, you get what? Have you forgotten you're blind? I may be blind, but I know every inch of this house, even in my sleep. You better go in and rest. I don't want people saying I'm stressing you. I'm fine, okay? the items were actually the ones you ordered. Yes, it's exactly what I ordered. Oh, okay, that's good. I'm coming. Um, honey, never mind. Um, I'll get that. You bought to continue the romance. Oh, she's coming. Welcome. Rick, Rick. Are you still blind or the facade is over? Of course it's over. And I want to thank you honestly for sticking through with me, you know, throughout my plan. So let me guess. The plan worked. <laughs> oh yes, it did. As a matter of fact, Everything played right in front of me. And you see, I now have all the evidence, you know. Now I'm able to clear my doubts. Actually, you came in good time. But how is this possible? I I came to the hospital. The doctor confirmed you're blind. I don't understand. What is happening? I don't expect you to understand. Okay, you know, let me just make it easy for you. You see, I had my doubts about you a long time back. So I came up with a plan. I actually planned the accident with my doctor and my lawyer here. <laughs> you see, and after we we're done with our plan, they told me I wouldn't find anything. It took me exactly one week to realize that everything I was worried about was actually happening. And how you planned to extort all my money. <laughs> Rick. Just calm down. Before you do something you regret, allow the law to take its course. You are right. But first, just get this idiot out of my house. If I do something, I regret. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. Yes, um, 
before I forget, could you help me prepare um, those divorce papers and ensure she signs it as soon as possible? And as for you, don't even think you can test me with a lawsuit. Because if you do, I'll have you arrested and put in jail for trying to extort money from me. One last thing. Don't even think of getting a dime from me. You want? Vic, I'm very sorry. Please, please help me beg him. Please. Just shut up. Lawyer? Help me, help me beg him, please. This means a lot to me. I'll be on that flight in the morning. I'm really grateful for this opportunity. There is no problem. So I need you to get to the flight tomorrow. You'll be coming over to the state. And you'll be staying in the company's property. I'm out of the country now, but I'll see you immediately when you're back. Wow. A job with an apartment? That is really nice. You know one of the reasons we picked you is your resume. In your resume we saw that you have good experience with managing the less privileged. People who are very well doing in society. Because our foundation is one of the aim to making sure that everyone lives a comfortable life. Yes. Everything you saw in my resume is very true. I have actually worked in um, a charity organization and I handle Kate very well. Okay, I'm so happy to hear that. So I guess I'll be seeing you. Yes, thank you so much, Mr. Robert. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> oh my god, I finally got the job. This is amazing. I need to start packing. Oh, I'll do that in the morning. Yes. <sighs> Good afternoon, ma'am. Yeah, and uh, who are you? Are you the new head of departments that the NGO employ? Yes. Ma'am, my name is Anne. I'm in charge of the apartment the company owns. So, you're the maid in charge of the apartment the company gave me? Yes, ma'am. I see. Let me help you with your bag. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> uh, you possibly don't think I'm going to allow you to touch my bag with your filthy hands? Don't worry. Just walk, I'll, I'll walk behind you, okay? Lead the way. Enjoy your meal, ma'am. Hey, hey, hey. And where are you going to? I want to go finish up my task. No. You served me, so you're supposed to stand while I eat in case I need something else. Mm, in fact, you're not supposed to stand. You're supposed to kneel down. Because if you're standing, it feels like you're standing above my head. I'm sorry, ma'am. I have served a lot of people in this house and no one has ever treated me like this. This is just not right. Really? Are you trying to banter words with me? Listen, in the next few days, I am going to be appointed the head of this foundation. And I will be in the position 
to say who gets fired and who stays here. Okay? I'm very sorry, Ma. I, I do not want to get fired. I really do need this job. Oh, really? Um, why do you need the job? Ma, I, I feed my family and I feed my two kids off this job. Please, Ma. Oh. Um, why is your husband? He's dead. Died a long time ago. I see. I see you really need this job. So when I tell you to kneel, you kneel! Now go down. I said go down! Nonsense. Poor people trying to act like they have an option. You can clear the table. I think I'm done. What? Where are you taking my drink to? You asked me to clear the table, ma'am. Did I ask you to take my drink? But, Ma, the dining table includes everything on it. Oh. Are you trying to say that I don't know what I'm talking about? No, ma'am. This should be the last time you touch my drink. I do ask you. Now, you can clear the table. You just made me mess myself up. Get out. And don't forget to bring something to clean up this mess. <laughs> I said get out! Don't forget to come and clean this mess up. Nonsense. <laughs> I wonder why these poor people think they have an option, like they have any say. <sighs> Just made me spill this. Yes, what do you want? They brought some documents and I left them on the dining for you. Alright, you can go. I'll be there. much this orphanage makes ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars three hundred thousand dollars oh my god there's even so many open checks that means if I cash any of them, no one will know. Ah, this is good. Whew. 
this is <laughs> oh my god this is money hello hey babe what's up hmm. i'm all right so you just had my time i've called you several times anyways I was calling because I have a very good gist for you. I'm sorry. I have been so busy lately. Is the gist still valid? Yeah. Do you remember the job I told you I was applying for? The one with the NGO? I finally, or should I say, I am finally going to get it. And guess what? What? Do you know that these NGO people have a lot of money? I mean, People are donating a lot, like $100,000, $200,000, and there are so many open checks. Look, girl, I am in here for the money. I mean, I am going to find a way to divert all the funds to my accounts. Hmm. Wow. But I hope no one is there with you. No, there's no one here. Except for a maid that they employed to be taking care of me in the apartment. And you know these poor people. I'm sure she wants to impress me, so she dare not open her stinking mouth to say anything to anybody. Alright, I'm happy for you, babes. Thank you so much, my darling. Don't worry, I'm going to be very rich soon. And I'm actually thinking of a way that, after diverting the phones to my personal account, I want to invest more in properties, expensive cars, jewelries, and, and so many things. And don't worry. I'm personally going to take you on that trip to Maldives. Wow. But well, how are you going to go for the trip? Uh, I'm just going to tell them that I have a charity program. <laughs> All right, my darling. I will talk to you later. All right, bye. Bye, love. <laughs> Mia. <laughs> I'm sure she's so happy for me. I mean, oh, Mr. Robert, you're here. Please sit down. Oh, good afternoon, Miss Wendy. Good afternoon. I've been expecting you. Yeah, I can see that a maid is taking care of you. Oh, um, she's trying. But I think when I resume my position fully, there are a lot of things I'm going to make changes. All right, um, I have enough document here, but um, we're so glad to have you resume as the head of this organization. Thank you so much. So um, what we're going to do is that you're going to sign. Okay. And after you sign, the boss is going to sign. Since the boss is also going to sign, that means I can't sign yet. And I hope the boss is not going to be late because, you know, I've been waiting for so long for you to even get here. The boss is here. I don't understand. The boss is here. The only person here is the maid and you. Except you're the boss. I'm not the boss. So who is... Wait. No. I... Wait. Is she the boss? She is the boss. What? But how? I don't understand. Well, Miss Wendy. This is one of the most reputable charity organizations and our reputation precedes us. We want to get the best of this job and managing this branch is a whole lot. Normally we do this test and check on our own, but the boss here insists on doing this one herself. The person you'll be calling the maid is not the maid. She is the owner of this charity organization. She wanted someone capable. So she disguised as a maid to test you. Oh my God. No, no, no. What is the problem? Didn't you pass the test? I'll take it from here, Mr. Robert. 
May I have the documents? Pen. <sighs> Ma, please. I am very sorry. I never knew you. You were the owner of this organization. Please. I really need this job. I am so sorry. I, I would have treated you better. I, I really don't know what to say right now. Miss Wendy, you thought I was a nobody. You practically opened up to me that you would siphon the company's funds for your private pleasures. Money meant for the less privileged. If that was what my company was built upon, do you think would have the resources to employ you? I'm really sorry, please. Miss Wendy, you're not sorry. Or maybe you are, but you're only sorry that you got caught. Secondly, look at how you treated me. Imagine I was actually a maid. You would have treated me anyhow you very uselessly and you were brought here to take care of the masses people who your maid was supposed to represent that's not what this company stands for please i'm sorry i i didn't know you were the boss i would have treated you better see the best way to know someone Someone's true character is by a test. And you know already that you failed woefully. Okay, Ma. But Ma, will I still get the job? I really need it, please. You know by now you're not getting the job. We don't want you coming to taint the image that we've built. You would not only not be getting the job, every Everything you said, everything you did was recorded and I would send every copy to the last, to every charity organization and NGO. You would not be getting any job within that circle. We don't want you bringing your dirty character anywhere, especially within the charity circle. I'm sorry, Ma. Please, Mr. Robert, please help me beg her, please. Please. Mr. Robert. Escort her out of this building. You will take her upstairs, make sure she takes only what she came in here with. Nothing more. Please leave. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, your Dora? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Water told me about you. You're welcome. Thank you. Please come with me. Let me introduce you to other staff members. Thank you. Good morning, Miss Grace. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dora, these are your senior colleagues. Um, I would like you to meet Mr. Joe. Mr. Steven and Miss Kate. I would like you all to meet Dora, the new office assistant. You're welcome, Dora. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Now, let me tell you something, Dora. As the office assistant, your job here is to run errands for us. And also clean the office at all times. I shouldn't call you more than once before you answer. Is that clear? Okay, sir. Joe, don't you think it's too early for that? If you don't know people like this, it's better you let them know their place early before they start disrespecting you. Dora, don't mind him. You're welcome here. Please feel free to go and resume your duty. And if you need anything, you can come to me. 
I hope you don't regret your nice attitude. <laughs> nice lady. You can leave now. Just make sure your documents are ready. of that. Please, I don't appreciate that. Listen, Dora. I know you're smart and very ambitious. If you want a good position in this company, you need to do my bidding. It's very simple. Dora, make me happy and I'll make you happy. Listen, Dora. Stop it or else... Shut up! Or else what? You would report me? <laughs> Dora, no one we believe in this office. I have worked so hard to build a good reputation in this company and I am a good asset to Mr. Water. So don't waste your time. You know what? Take a filter self out of here. I'm certain I'll get you some other time. Share with you. Good afternoon, everyone. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. Please, I would like to know if you need anything because I'm going for my lunch break. Don't worry. I think I will have lunch outside today. I'm fine, thank you. Look who wants to go for lunch. Do you even have money to pay for your lunch? Now, listen. I need you to go to my house, collect my clothes from my wife, and give it to the laundryman. I will send his number. Joe, that's not right. You can't send her on such errand. And you know that's not part of her job description. I need you to do me a favor. Mind your business. She's the errand gay and she will go on any errand I send her. Right, Dora? Yes, I will. You can go. And why did you take so long? I'm sorry, sir. Just stand there till I'm done. Why is the water not cold? Sir, the dispenser is not working. Oh. The dispenser isn't working. I will show you something that is working. Now get something and clean this place up. Now! No, Joe. That was just too much. What you did just now was unacceptable. Joe, that's unfair. I mean, what did she do to deserve all that? That's how you treat a filthy cleaner. Dora, are you okay? Just try to change into something else, okay? I'll see you after work. You see, I understand, and that's why I decided to call you all for this impromptu meeting. I want to ensure that. Um, oh, yes, please come. Um, so, excuse me. What on earth are you doing here? This is a very important meeting for only important people in this office. What is a low life like her doing here? Now, listen up. When there's mess in the office, I will call you to clean. Now, leave. Leave! Mr. Joe. Can I ask you a simple question? Miss um, Dora here is a staff of this company, isn't she? Sir, she I am not done talking. I personally invited Miss Nora here to attend this meeting. Just like most of you already know, I'll be retiring in a few months' time. And I took it upon myself to 
get someone who will be my replacement here as the CEO of this company. Not just anyone, but someone who I am sure, you know, can fill this seat properly. Someone who can cast a big shadow. And that's why I just called everyone here. And I needed her to be here too, so she's here for a reason. Sir, I have always told you, I am more than Mr. Capable. Joe, this should be the very last time you interrupt me, okay? Sorry, sir. Good. Like I likely said earlier, I want my replacement to be somebody who I can brag about anywhere. Someone who would take um, this company to greater heights. Yes, of course, I know we've achieved a lot. But I really wanted it to be someone who I can hit my chest anytime. Someone I could be proud of, you know. Someone whom I could gladly say I retired and left the company in his or her hands. And that's the reason why I have decided today to choose that person who will replace me. Most of you may not know it, but that person is here with us right now. My replacement will be Dora here. Sir, Dora here knows nothing about this company. How would you hand a whole empire like this to a low life like Dora? Sir, she's just a cleaner. Mr. Joe, if those words came out from someone else, I wouldn't be surprised. But having them come out from your own mouth, I must say I'm highly disappointed. Just so you know, Dora here happens to have a master's degree in human resources. She also has a lot of professional certificates in management. And that is why I decided to make Dora Walters the new CEO of this company. Excuse me, sir. Dora Walter. She's your daughter. Yes. Dora here is my daughter. I only told her to start off from something little so that when the big things come, she'll appreciate them in life. You see, a lot of people thought uh, my decision was probably incongruous or wrong, but I had a reason for making Dora here an office assistant before giving her the promotion as a CEO. You see, I can boldly say that this company is in good hands. Because I know what Dora here is capable of doing. I strongly agree, sir. <sighs> Mr. Joe. Sir. You see, at some point, I thought I was going to let this pass. But seeing you repeat it here in my presence, I must address it. I know of all your passes, all your attempts to harass my daughter. Yes, she tells me everything. You see, I would have taken actions earlier than today. But I told her I would like to find out myself. Now I have seen how you treat people because you feel like you are above them, like you just did in my presence. You all know one thing I don't condone in this company is any form of misconduct. I don't take it lightly. Hence, Mr. Joe, effective immediately, you cease to be a staff in this company. And not just that. I'm going to involve the police. Do not, do not patronize me. For the sake of my children, for the sake of my wife, please sir. Oh, now you know you are married with kids and you had the audacity to harass my own daughter. You know what? You just hold on. Would you all please excuse me? Hello, Inspector. Yes, about the discussion we had last week. Yes, yes, exactly, exactly. Oh, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, yes, he's, he's right here, yes. Thank you very much, please send them in. That was fast, thank you very much, thank you. Thank you. Sir, I'm sorry, sir. I know you're sorry, and I'm also sorry too. As for the rest of you, this should stand as a warning and a lesson. Do not look down on anybody because you feel they are 
more important than them or better than them in any way. Please just, you know what, just wait outside. You, you disgust me. Wait outside, please. Leave! My angel, congratulations. Come here. I'm proud of you. Please have your seats. Okay, so now to the business of... Mr. Greg, I noticed you left the office. Do you want me to bring your drink for you? Oh yes, please. I don't mind. Okay, I'll be right back. Thank you. Lisa! Greg! Oh my god! Is this you? Yeah, it's me! Lisa, how oh, are you? Oh, please stop it. I don't shake low life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. So what are you doing here? Oh, I came here because of this car. See, I really like this car. That's why I'm here, admiring it. <laughs> of course. You're here to admire the car. Because that is the only thing you ever do. Admire, admire. You will never buy. Well, it's fine. Um, what about you? What are you here for? Oh, that's a dumb question, but I'm going to answer you. I'm here to purchase the car. This? Yes, of course. And let me tell you something about this car. It's an abstract. It is very unique. It has more beautiful things in it, but from the outside, you will think it's very simple. That's the reason why I want to buy it. Exactly why I love this car. Of course, I know you love the car. But the bad thing is, you can't afford it because you are too low for the car. You don't have money. I'm wondering why they allowed you into this place and why you're standing very close to this expensive car. Oh, come on. Is that right? How has life been with you? Great. Life has been so good, like so, so good. And guess what? I'm a doctor now. Doctor? Yes. I just received my doctorate in accounting from Stanfield. Wow. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what about you? What university do you attend? Well, I couldn't afford my university tuition fee, so I dropped out. Oh, <laughs> I never expected anything less. You know, my thesis in corporate accounting was published immediately I finished my doctorate. And guess what? Mostly Box Financial hired me immediately and they pay me a lot. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much, Greg. Uh, let me guess. You don't have a degree, right? So what do you do? Oh, a sales boy. Because that's, that's the only thing you can do without a degree. I'm sure they pay me a lot that can feed you for the rest of your life. <laughs> there you go, sir. Thank you. Miss, do you care for some? Don't you dare call me miss. I am a doctor, so address me as doctor. And I don't know why you're serving this low life a drink. Someone that just came here to admire a car. Just go, you can get me something. Okay, doctor. Oh my God. What kind of drink is this? It tastes really good. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so sorry I'm laughing. You want to tell me you don't know the Glen Brandy? This is the best brandy in town and it's well celebrated by everyone. Oh, silly me. I'm sure you've never tasted it. It's not for idiots and low ragged people. Oh my God! What is this rubbish? How low can you be? Why did you just spit on me? Oh, do you know how much this dress costs? 
Oh, I'll just spare you the details. But let me tell you the amount I got it for. Because I'm sure you've never had such in your life. I got it for $10,000. So don't you dare do that again. Lisa, I, I am sorry. Sorry for your stinky poor self. What's the meaning of this? Why is this attendance? Oh my God. Why is this attendance? Please just come and tell me the price of this car. Let me buy it and live here. Can't deal with such low lives. Oh. Attendant! Attendant, where are you? Here you go, ma. Thank you. So tell me, how much does this car cost? Oh, Mr. Greg here already asked for the price and I think he's ready to buy it. What? Greg? You asked for the price of this car? Something you can't afford? Oh, you cracked me up. I mean, what did you do that for? I just wanted to know the price. You just wanted to know the price when you can't afford it. Come on, that's an insult. Don't try it next time because you might probably end up in jail. It's fine. Grace, you can tell her the price. And if she's interested to buy it, no problem. Okay, sir. Ma, this car costs $100,000. What? $100,000? Isn't that too much? That, that's a lot of money. Um, is there no discount? Because there's absolutely no way I can afford $100,000. No, ma. It's a fixed price. No discount. Mr. Greg, are you still interested in buying the car for your daughter? Yes. Okay, sir. Let me get you the invoice. Your daughter? How is that even possible? Well, I am the CEO of Rainbow Laundry Services. CEO? But you're not even a graduate, so how come? Remember my father used to be our school janitor? Yes. Well, he had a small laundry business. And after school, I couldn't afford my tuition fee, so I had to take over from him. Well, the business grew and became what it is today. Oh, wow. That's, that's actually nice. Mr. Greg? Oh my God, Mr. Greg! How are you? I'm fine. How are you? It's so good to see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, ma. Lisa, what are you doing here? Oh, I came to check on someone. Oh, okay. Mr. Greg, so nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, I came to get a car for my daughter. Your daughter? The small one, she's all grown now. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Mr. Greg, meet Lisa. Lisa, meet Mr. Greg. Mr. Greg, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. I, I really, really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you very much. Come on, Jenny, don't mention. You know, that's a long time ago. Yeah, I know. Lisa, Mr. Greg here was the one who helped me start up the company that I run and that you work for. Oh, wow. <laughs> Mr. Greg, I need to leave now. I came to pick up something from here. I'll see you some other time, okay? No problem. All right, take care. I'll catch you in the office. Yes, ma'am. Bye. Sir, please, are you making payments now or later? Yes, I will pay now. Okay, please sign here, then let's go to the office. Okay. Follow me, please. Yes, sir. I will see you some other time. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this pauper to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! next okay he's going first then ha then i'm going last oh thank you so much i lost count i wasn't concentrating no problem it's fine i think it's my turn right yes okay thank you welcome
Yeah, how are you all doing? So I'll just. This is the next person. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry, sir. Which side do you want? I would like feed. Feed. You just came in, and I've been here for a couple of hours now. I'm sorry, you have to wait for your turn. Wait, I'm sorry. Do you know who you're talking to? I'm sorry, sir. I. I don't know you. We haven't met before. Oh, really? You don't know me? <laughs> um, Martha? Yes, sir. Just how long have you been working here? Almost two years, sir. Could you please tell that thing who I am? I'm very sorry, sir. But this is Mr. Simon, our very top customer. He's very wealthy and respected. Please, let him have his hair cut. Immediately he's done, I'll attend to you, and you don't even have to pay a dime. But well, that's unfair. Look, I I've been here for hours. Now it's my turn, you're asking me to wait. Please, sir. No, Martha. This is unfair and totally unacceptable. Please, Martha, why are you begging him? You should keep quiet. You see, I don't know why poor people keep making too much noise. Don't beg him anymore. Martha, I think this is unfair. This man has been waiting here for hours and you are here babbling on another person. What do you mean, Jack? Don't you know who Mr. Simon is? Of course I do. But we do not have a VIP section. So we have to treat everyone equally. Okay. Well, I would like to see the manager. I really don't think there's a need for that. Sir, if you want to see the manager, I'll get you the manager. Please get me the manager. <laughs> Good day. Jack said you want to see me. Yes, I requested to see you, ma'am. Okay, so what is the problem? Okay, now the problem is, when I got here, I met two customers here. I waited my turn. Now it's my turn to have my hair cut. And Martha here insists Mr. Simons goes first. I want to understand why he should go first. And as the manager, I believe you know the right thing to do. Yes. I am the manager here and as you rightly said, I know the right thing to do. Thank you. I thought as much. <laughs> so the right thing to do is that, is to allow Mr. Simon have his hair cut before yours. But I, I... Excuse me. I mean, look at you. Don't you know how to recognize riches when you see one? Mr. Simon here is one of our respected customers. And he has one of the biggest stores in town. So I suggest you just sit down and wait for him. Ma'am, you shouldn't talk to him like that. He's a customer and he has been here for long. Are you stupid? It looks like you don't like your job anymore, right? I'm just saying, it's not fair. Will you just shut up? Are you trying to say I should allow this pauper to cut his hair before Mr. Simon? You know what? You're fired. What? Ma'am. Get out! You know what? If I'm getting fired for doing the right thing, I'll gladly lose the job. He, he, he talks too much. He talks too much. Please continue. Please wait. I'm sorry I didn't introduce myself earlier. And what am I supposed to do with your introduction? I am sure you were told this salon is under a new management as at two weeks ago. And how is that supposed to be your problem? Well, my name is Mr. Samuel Stone and this salon belongs to me, among other businesses that I own. Uh, I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know it was you. No, you don't need all that right now. Don't be all soft and nice to me. Well, the truth is, I was worried about the staffs working with the previous owner. So I decided to come in here and see things for myself because I didn't want anyone losing their jobs. So I decided to come in here as a normal customer and have a haircut. But I'm glad that I finally know how things are being run here. Yes, some people will be fired today, but definitely not Mr. Jack. So Mata, 
I would like you to drop the apron and take your personal belongings and leave the salon because you're fired. Mata, you are fired. Please leave. And as for you, Barbara, effective immediately, you've been relieved of your position as the manager in this salary. You're fired. I'm very sorry, sir. Miss Barbara, go in there, clear your decks, and leave. What are you still doing here? And as for you, Mr. Simon, would you wait your turn or you leave? Sir, I would gladly wait my turn. I'm not in a hurry anymore. I would gladly. Please help me with this, please. Thank you. Um, I'm so sorry, okay? I'm so sorry. I meant no harm. I'm so sorry. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> This will continue for as long as I am alive. What? Oh, yes. But none of this is my fault. I know none of this is your fault. But the thing is, your mother isn't here to face this punishment. So since you are here, I will ensure as the day goes by, you pay for all her sins and all her mistakes. Imagine me sacrificing everything for her and all she does is will everything to you. <laughs> she means I am worthless. I don't deserve a penny after all my hard work. <laughs> she lies and here you cry. You will suffer. <laughs> I will ensure you pay for all her sins. You've still nothing yet. <laughs> I will ensure you suffer until I'm satisfied. I will not stop. <laughs> so please eat and drink a lot of water because I'll be having you tonight. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
So, I will see you tomorrow when I bring your meal for the day. <laughs> you are really nice. You are becoming a good girl. Yes. Before I forget, your late mother's family have been insisting on seeing you. I've been trying to see how I can push it away, but they refuse to back down. So they'll be coming tomorrow for dinner. I would like you to, you know, be of your best behavior. Dress well, you know, wear something nice. Dress the part. And remember, always be happy. Let me warn you. If you show any signs that you are not happy or anything is wrong, <laughs> I will kill you <gasps> and you will die. You will die like your late mother. No, even worse than your late mother. So if you don't want that to happen, Dress nice, smell nice, you know, touch your face, you know, look very okay. And be happy. If you fail to do so, you know. <laughs> please don't kill me, please. <laughs> do the right thing and you remain alive. If you don't, you know the rest. Bye. <laughs> about you aren't you eating <laughs> no um, my dad and yeah yeah actually she um she has um issues with her appetite so mm -hmm. i felt why not probably you know start with an orange juice to boost the appetite and afterwards she could go ahead and start herself oh okay i see mm -hmm. wow um angela you've grown into such a big and beautiful young lady <laughs> thank you you are grown now. You look just exactly like your mom. <clears throat> so, how's school? School, school, school. Is yes, I'm actually school. School is actually fine. School is fine. School is fine. <laughs> I see you are taking good care of Angela. Of course. If I don't take care of Angela, who will? You see, um. Ever since she lost her mother, that's my wife, I just took it upon myself to make sure that she has the best life, goes to one of the best schools in the city, wears one of the most, and if not the most expensive dresses. See her hair. I make sure her hair is well kept. You see, she's my joy, my pride, the apple of my eyes. So I have decided to do anything humanly possible to make sure she has the best life. <laughs> so, Angela, tell us, how did you spend your Christmas? Actually, I and my dad <laughs> went to the Sky Resort. He, he provided he, he provided everything I wanted. It was, it was, it was, it was really a great experience. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay. hey, come on, sit. Sit, my angel. Come on, there's nothing. Sit, just relax. I'll just quickly clean this up, guys. <laughs> come on, sit. No, come on, come on. Come on, angel. <laughs> I'll join you guys soon, okay? <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> mm. 
Angela, are you okay? Um, it's okay, sweetheart. Come. It's okay. Come on, Angel, it's nothing. Just sit, sit, Angel. Sit, sit, huh? It's fine. Sit, Angel. Sit. Let me have your hands. Don't hurt yourself next time, okay? <laughs> it's just you know, kids. <laughs> Uh, it's fine. Here we go. So, okay. So it's fine. Okay. Um, you see, I'm actually um, she's not be feeling too fine. So I guess it's just one of those things. Oh. Um, Angela, have you used your meds today? Yeah. Yes. She has. She has. I always ensure that. <laughs> She will be fine. <laughs> Sorry, Angel. Babe, I don't know. I'm so bothered about what happened earlier. Angela seemed lost. Lost? Mm. Why would she seem lost? When she has a loving father that loves her so much. So, why would she be looking lost? No, she's lost. I'm a social worker and a psychologist. I know when something is wrong. So, tell me, what exactly do you think is wrong? I don't know. I don't think she's going to any school. Because I don't think she was talking in the present or about the present. It was Mr. Bernard trying to catch up for her. Trust me, something is really wrong somewhere. You know, I didn't notice all this. So, what do you think we should do about it? Well, I'm going to try and get some details about her to find out if she has really been going to school. Are you sure you can do this? This is my job. I have my way around things. So getting information isn't a problem for me. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Okay, if you say so. Yeah. Let's go. What was that nonsense you tried to pull up at the dinner? Shut up. <laughs> you think you are smart, right? So you wanted them to know that you are not really enjoying that I am wicked. But it's fine. I like the little drama presentation. You did well. So you wanted them to feel like I don't treat you well. They will feel I am wicked. I don't take care of you. Or you don't even go to school. No problem. There's a way to treat animals. I don't hear what. You just give them small, you know, a little bit of something to make them understand what not to do. Hi, Vanessa. Keep your greetings to yourself. You this devil. Come on, Vanessa. What have I done wrong? Where is Angela? Well, um, Angela isn't home at the moment. Oh, really? Yes. Mr. Rob, that's him. Arrest him. I demand to know the reason why I'm being arrested. What for? Oh, really? Yes. 
Well, after the last time we visited, I noticed something was not right. Angela seemed lost, and I had to carry out some investigations. And in my investigation, I found out that Angela has not been attending any school. She has been maltreated by you. Also, you have been hitting her and on top of it, you have been raping her. Look, I, I actually don't know what you're talking about, but I, 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 I promise you... I, I... Mr. Bernard, you'll do yourself a huge favor by just coming clean because I have evidence you have been busted. Look, this, this whole thing is actually her mom's fault. Yes. After building a career with her for three years. She, 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 she died and left everything to her daughter. Meaning I am, I am, I am worthless. I don't deserve to enjoy everything I worked hard for. Come on. Come on, who will take that? I, I, I feel sad for, for, for Angela, trust me. And I'm not proud of the things I, I, I do to her, but so, someone needs to pay for the sins of her mother. Look, Vanessa, I, I'm sorry, okay? Just forgive me. Put yourself in my shoes, please. I assure you, if you give me a second chance, I'll, I'll be a great father to that, to, that, to that girl. I would never rape my own child. What, what, what father would rape his own daughter? She's my stepdaughter. Look, I, I'm sorry. Mr. Bernard, save all that for the courts. Arrest him. Sir, you are under arrest for rape, sexual harassment, and harassment of a minor. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to a lawyer. If you don't have one, the state will provide one for you. I'm, I'm sorry, Vanessa. Angela! Angela! Oh, and I will do everything in my power to ensure that she rots in jail. Angela! I, I deserve this. I'm sorry, Angela? Vanessa. Angela! I'm sorry, Vanessa. Please move. She should leave. Fourth room to your right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Afternoon, Nora. How are you? Fine, thanks, sir. And why is the house so quiet? Most of the staffs have gone home already, so we are just two. Oh, you and who? Me and me, Maya. And where is Maya? She went to the grocery store. She went to get some groceries. Oh, groceries, right? Yes, sir. That's good. Good, good. Thank you. I'm sorry, um, Maya. Please come with me. I have some clothes I want for laundry. Oh, okay. Or right, no then you come back to this. No problem, sir. All right. Come with me. Yeah, so, um, Nora, come in, please, come in. Come in. Yeah, so the clothes I want to take for, to laundry are in this first wardrobe. Yes, just the first wardrobe. No, and, um, so yes, so just check towards this edge. Okay. Sir, please, what, what are you doing? Sir, stop! Look, listen to me, listen to me. No, just, just lay with me once, and I swear, look, I promise you, you don't have to be a maid again. Sir, so please, I can't do this. It's against my moral conduct, sir. So Look, it is against my own moral conduct, too. Eh? Sir. So I don't want to do it, but your body does. Look so up to him. Ah! Ah! I was so scared when you grabbed my waist. <laughs> I was so 
sorry I have to go through that. Any man you could do such a thing to a young girl like me. <laughs> Nora, I'm very, very sorry you have to go through that. See, I understand you, okay? I understand you, trust me. Every single thing that you're saying, I do understand. Yes. <laughs> My family is really for all this. If they had kept that my this, all this would have been happening. That's why I'm trying to struggle. So I could go to university. So that I can make something out of life. That maid that was sent away a month ago. Oh, yeah, 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 I do, I do. She was molested by Mr. Jack. <gasps> yes. I can't believe my ears. In fact, Jane was raped by Mr. Jack and he got away with it. What? Yes. But he could have done something about it. At least report to his wife. That's a nice idea. We should report to his wife. At least I have some people who can stand as witnesses. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. So what's the plan? I think I should walk up to his wife. Since I am the head of domestic staffs here, I think she would listen and take steps. Yeah, that's true, that's yes. true, that's true. Yes. Oh, I hope you didn't sustain any injuries. Oh, no, I didn't. Thank Are you sure? You. Yes. Okay. Thank you. I'm so sorry, dear. Thank you. I'm here for you, okay? Okay. <laughs> Who's there? It's Maya. Oh, come in. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Maya? Ma? Are you done with the guest house? I'm almost done, Ma. Please be fast about it. My guests will be here in no time. Also, the food preparation, how is that going? It's going well, Ma. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, Ma. I actually want to discuss something very important with you. Okay, I'm listening. Um, Ma, it's... Um, it's actually... Um, about your husband. Ugly ducklings like you. Ma, you need to believe me on this. I could even. Shut up! Just hold it right there. What are you saying? Are you trying to frame my husband? Ma, I'm not trying to frame your husband. I can even get Maria on the, on the phone right now and she's going to testify to Just this. shut up, Maya. Shut up! Look, let me make something clear to you. My husband has a political career, a political ambition. He's going for governorship, and I will be the first lady. And that comes first. Nothing can change that. Okay? Yes. And let me sound a note of warning to you. Don't you try to make any further step on this issue. Yeah, 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 yes, ma'am. Because if you do, you're actually playing with your life. And that of the other maids. I won't, Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Better. Now get out of my room. And close my door behind you. Are 
Are you serious? Was that what she said? Yes. I'm also shocked. So what are we going to do now? Because I can't sit and watch him molest other maids. I can't afford to lose my job. In fact, my life. Hmm. I think I have a better idea. Really? Yes. So, what's the idea? Remember I studied journalism? Yeah. So I want to use that journalistic skills to solve this issue. Hmm. I'm going to record Mr. Jack. I hope this is enough evidence to give to the media. What media? Please, think of another idea. I don't support you on this. Remember, our life could be at risk on this. Come on. Nora, trust me on this one. I'm going to be extraordinarily careful. So you don't need to be scared. So, how do you intend to be about this? Before I started working here, I was a freelancer. Okay, wow. That's good. And I own a mini recorder. I'm going to use this to record Mr. Jack's conversations. The next time he tries to make a move. Okay. Don't be careful. I don't want to go this thing. Don't worry about it. Okay, let's get back to the room. Okay. Who is it? It's Maya, sir. Oh, Maya. Please, come right in. Maya. Here is the coffee you requested for, sir. Yes, please just drop it there. Okay, sir. Oh, Maya. Oh, Maya, before you leave. You see, Maya. Sir? Do you know you are very, very beautiful? Like I have always admired you. There's, there's something about your body. I don't know if it's your complexion or your physique. You are not chubby, like I mean fat. Neither are you slim. You're just, you know, in the right proportion. And I just think about myself, you know, enjoying a young blood like you. Maya, you are a treasure. Here's your coffee, sir. Come on, Maya, won't you even at least say thank you for the compliments? Sir, I didn't ask for a compliment. <sighs> Maya. Sir? What is wrong with you? Look, Maya. Sir? All I'm asking you to do is just, you know, spend me 10 minutes of your time. Look, I don't want more than 10 minutes. I'm not a greedy man. Just 10 minutes. Let me, you know, enjoy the sweetness of your young blood. And I promise you, I will change your life. Sir, I'm sorry. I can't do it. And also, you're married. Come on. Don't say that again. Look, Maya. Yes, I am married, but my wife doesn't need to know. This would be a little secret. Who says a married man cannot enjoy younger bloods like yours? Sir, I'm like a child to you. No, 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 look, 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 Maya, look, Maya. I would not take that insult from you. What nonsense? Sorry, sir. Child, in what way? Don't you ever mention that I'm like a father to you. Don't try it. Sorry, sir. Do you even know my age? You know what? If you are not ready to succumb to what I'm saying, you have bought my coffee. Then you please leave. Get out! Nonsense. Telling me I'm like a father to you. What insult? Are you the first and would you be the last? Do you know what it means to walk abroad? I think I pay for I run a charity here. Breaking news, an anonymous person who has a relation with our media house has reached us with come, information come. on Mr. Jack. Honey, 
with accusations of rape, yes, molestation, I, I, I mean, and sexual assault, assault from rape. All his mates. No, this is this is false, baby. This is and false. Assault. Babe, this must be from my, my political opponents. Evidence yes. against Mr. Jack. No, this is. We have video point. clips. And you know what? I need to call also my publicist. Please do. Come on, my campaign manager. Yes. This is not looking good at all. It's not. It's not. I will sue them. Yes. Yes. And who are you? And why did you burn into my house? My name is Detective John Water. You are under arrest for rape child molestation and sexual harassment you know what i need to just quickly get some sir whatever you say or do will be used against you in the court of law you have the right to a lawyer if you don't have one the state will provide you one look i am innocent trust notes are false babe no. make contacts call yes inspector look i am innocent this is just politics inspector listen we can talk like men listen I'm a position. These are my enemies, babe. Call, call my, 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 my campaign manager. Hey, no, I'll make call. Call everyone. Call Kate. Call Faith. Let them know that I've been arrested for, for, for no reason. Look, look, I am innocent. Um, Inspector, where is your issue? Madam, just in case you don't know, we have a case against you. When we're done with your husband, we'll come for you. 